Well, hey y'all, welcome back to the homestead. Today we're gonna be planting some onions. <clears throat> Fall onions are a fantastic thing to grow and they're super fun. And we hope to get them in the ground today and uh, see how we do with them this year. We have, we've had good success and we've had miserable failures in the past with, with onions, but I've grown them or tried to grow them enough where I'm pretty sure I have a handle on it now. I've learned a lot through the years, so hopefully I'm going to put that into practice and uh, we'll be able to grow some good onions this year. Uh, here in the south, we are a short day onion zone, uh, and our best time to plant short day onions here in the south is in November. Any time in the month of November is good. Uh, it's something that we overwinter here in the south, so... Uh, let me show you what I, I failed on, and then I'll show you what we're gonna plant. Okay, so these are the onion starts we started back in the beginning of September. I believe these are 300 count trays, if I'm not mistaken. They're the, uh, they're the tall ones, uh, but small. And supposedly they're really good for onions. Now, whether that isn't the case or I just completely failed on my end miserably, uh, I'm not sure, but whatever the case is, we don't have onions um, that I that I started in September. So out of the 300, we have one, two, maybe three viable plants to plant in the ground. So yeah, that's a miserable failure. Uh, I'm not going to give up. I'm I'm going to if it kills me, I'm going to have to learn how to start my own onion plants, and I will. Uh, I just haven't figured out how to do that yet. So let me show you what we actually ended up doing. So this is what we we did this year. We went ahead and got the uh, the onion starts. I ordered them from two different places just to compare the two to see who who's uh, came in and looked better and uh, grow them out and see who performed better. Uh, I got two bundles from Haas Garden and Tool, and I got three bundles from Dixon Dale Farms. Uh, the two that we're going to be growing from Haas is Vidora and Sapilo. And the three that we're gonna be doing from Dixon Dale Farms are uh, Texas Sweets and Yellow Granix and Southern Bell. Now the only one out of these five different ones that I've grown before in the past uh, were the Texas Sweets, uh, super, the Texas Super Sweets. Um, we have grown those and they're delicious. They, they are really good, um, uh, for this area. They grow well. So I already know what to expect from those. Uh, the other four will be kind of a surprise and a trial. So that's what we, uh, that's what we had to end up, end up doing because the onion starts failed. This is the row that we're planting the onions in. We're going to go ahead and bury the drip tape. I already got the furrow dug, the drip tape laid in the furrow. Uh, we're going to plant these on double rows, which means we're going to plant a row here, a row here, a row here, and a row here. So we will have two double rows all the way down. Um, I do have another order coming just in case um, it wasn't enough. And if it was enough, then I'll just go ahead and give them away to someone else that would like them. Uh, someone who gardens in my area, if I can find somebody. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if we have enough or not. <clears throat> but that's what I plan on doing. I'm going to go ahead and start furrowing the side the side here and uh, get ready to plant and we'll show you the process. Now onions are super heavy feeders and what I do uh, before I plant, I put this ammonium sulfate 2100. I do lay that in the furrow, uh, the furrow that the drip tape is in, not the furrow that the onions are in. So I, I'll lay this before I bury the drip tape, I'll lay a row of this. Not very much. Um, it's probably, it comes to be about a, a one pitcher and I don't know how, maybe a pound and a half uh, per row. Uh, so two pitcherfuls for the entire row of this 2100 ammonium sulfate. And then I will proceed to feed those for the next few weeks with a balanced fertilizer. Um, you can use 20, 20, 20, 10, 10, 10. 888, whatever you find. We do organic stuff here, so um, I haven't decided what I'm going to fertilize them with yet. 
uh, but as close to a balanced fertilizer as you can get to fertilize onion, onions with, that's what you want to use. I'm going to show you all the difference between, uh, between Haas onion starts and Dixondale. Haas, Dixondale. I didn't pull anything special. I didn't, you know, pull the worst to the best. This is literally a comparison of what you get between the two. Yeah. Uh, if Haas keeps growing, or getting these uh, from the same grower and keep selling these, um, I may not order from Dixondale anymore. It's just a night and day difference. Now they are more expensive. Um, we're looking at, I think, I, no, don't quote me. I think about 15 bucks a bundle versus 10 bucks a bundle. But I mean, five bucks more a bundle is worth it. All right, I have them all laid out and spaced sort of kind of how I like them. And uh, once I start actually digging the holes for them and putting them in, I'll do a little bit better spacing on them, but that's them all laid out. Now what I'll do is I'll come back in with that ammonia sulfate and I'll, I'll go ahead and lay them in the trench that the drip tape is in and then cover the drip tape. All right, guys, that's it for this quick little onion planting video. We got them all in. Uh, by all estimates, we're at uh, probably 250, 260 onions. So it took me a better part of an hour, hour and a half to do. But they're all in, and I got them, I got them on drip right now. And I have the uh, AgriThrive running through the drip to give them a little boost so they don't go into any kind of shock and that's it we'll keep you up by date update on the progress of our onion patch